Smart Virgin 9 signal generator is capable of producing multiple formats of test signals, multi-channel output, recallable presets, and many more unique and powerful settings, all of which we will go over. But first, let's configure Smart for signal output. Output configuration is accessed from the I.O. config dialog and selecting output. Then, find the device you are using and select the channels of that device you wish to output to. You may also give the outputs friendly names, as in this example we are going to be driving a simple 4-output system with left, right, sub, and fill channels. If you are using Smart Suite or RT, you can create unique signal generator presets. Select Store to create a preset for each of the various output schemes you may want to use. For example, a preset for all outputs as well as presets for each of the individual system outputs. Now, when you close the I.O. config dialog, you can select between these presets using the output dropdown in the bottom right of the Smart interface. Notice that one of the options is Configure, which will take you directly to Output Config. All signal generator options are housed in a fly-up window accessible by selecting on the Signal Generator Magic button via the Options menu or the command Alt Option N. Regardless of the stimulus type, you will have the options to adjust the signal generator level up or down, turn it on or off, change the output preset selection, as well as optionally turn the signal generator off after you capture a measurement, as well as use a compact view of the signal generator controls. Noise signals are offered as random or pseudo-random, in other words, infinitely non-repeating or cyclical. Random Noise uses the pink contour and has options for playing mono or stereo. With mono selected, the same noise signal is sent to all selected outputs. With stereo selected, all even channels get one random noise signal, and all odd channels get a different random noise signal, sometimes referred to as uncorrelated noise. Selecting pseudo-random noise allows for additional options like changing the cycle length of the noise signal, dropping the data window for the impulse response measurement, noise contours other than pink, as well as band limiting the noise spectrum. Pseudo-random noise also adds multi to the output selections. When multi is selected, a unique noise signal or generator seed is sent to each of the selected outputs. There is no limit to the number of unique noise output seeds that you may use. Regardless of which type of noise you have selected, there is the option to fade in the signal generator's volume when turning it on, a useful feature that those around you will likely thank you for. Pink Sweep is a logarithmic sinusoidal sweep intended primarily for impulse response measurements. In impulse response mode, you can use the triggered by impulse response option to automatically set the sweep length to match the FFT size used for the IR measurements and trigger the generator to start automatically when you run the measurement. Zero Pad controls the presence of a short period of silence before and after a sweep sequence. For IR measurements, this padding is necessary. For sync source real-time transfer function measurements, however, zero pad is unchecked and disabled. The sine selection allows you to play one or two sine wave selections with independent settings for level and frequency. In addition to internally generated signals, Smart allows you to use any wave file as a test signal. Multiple files may be loaded into Smart as a playlist, with basic media player controls for repeating a single file or selecting the next or previous file. To load files into Smart, select Browse and navigate to the selections you wish to load. You can select multiple files. The Generator On-Off button acts as the Play Stop button. When you stop and start the signal generator, the selected file will start over. The output selections are Mono and Stereo Plus. With mono selected, a mono sum of the selected file will play out of all selected outputs. With stereo plus selected, stereo files will play the left channel of a file out of all odd channels and the right channel of a file out of all even channels. If more than two channels are in the file, then all channels are accommodated in the order that they are presented. Finally, the normalized checkbox will scale the signal to a peak level of 0 dB normalized full scale. The SMPTE selection is the simplest of smart signal generator options with no definable settings. 
This option produces a noise signal that corresponds to the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers definition in the SMPTE ST2095-1 draft, where the noise signal has a crest factor of 11.5 to 12 dB, a bandwidth of 10 Hz to 22.4 kHz, and a minimum unique signal period of 10 seconds.